The RCA connector has been around for a lot of years and typically used in video applications. It can also be used in audio applications and that's one of the reasons why it uh, can be, it's been around so long as pretty as a versatile uh, connector. And with RCA's they have this distinctive pin in the front of them that makes the connection of course to the other, other half and then uh, anytime you use one of these you might insert it and then give it a little bit of a twist that kind of locks it in place on the mating half and uh, to, uh, to uh, remove them we got to give them a little bit of a twist and pull them back out but they make a great connection so it's uh, it's a we need to make a really good connection inside this to this little pin and the way the connector does this is we looked in down inside the connector inside that inner barrel you would see down in the bottom a little bitty opening a small hole which is actually the bottom of the pin and inside that opening is a small spring-loaded six-pointed kind of clip that the center conductor inserts inside of and of course that clip makes a connection all the way around the center conductor so if we were to uh, take a little center conductor and insert it in the back end we'd actually feel it go inside that little pin and uh, that little six-pointed clip is making a good connection and it's, it's definitely on there uh, and so that's how the connector is making the connection to the center conductor to that pin so when we strip our wire, we'll make our normal two-step strip we would make on the cabling. Again, pull back to Brady. And we, would, we know that the center conductor has got to go to about the front of the, of, or the top of that knurled portion of the nut. So we know it's got to go in about that far. So I'm going to take my thumb and make a mark back here. And when I insert the connector on it, it the inner barrel, it, if you give it a little bit of a, a twist like that, that will slide, help it slide over the, the dialect and the foil. And then it's just a matter of pushing it on until it hits your thumb and it bottoms out. I mean, the, the connector or cable can only go in so far. Again, the center conductor can go only so far inside the pin. And now it's ready to be compressed. In our compression tools, uh, when we move the, the, the lever in and out, it moves this, this ram uh, back and forth. And on the tool, right here in the middle of it, are some markings that you can see in here. And there's a large mark in there. And when I see that large mark, if I move the ramp all the way forward, it should be even with that little large mark inside there. And then if that's true, I know the tool's set for any of Ideal's products. Now, your, your, your pin in here has got to get loaded in the front part of this, the, uh, inside the hole in the front of that, that ramp. So I'm going to insert it like that. It's just all fully seated between the, the ram and the clips in the back, and then it's just a matter of, of squeezing the tool all the way down. Oops. And it's compressed the connector for me. And now when I remove it, you might have to open up both these clips and pull it out like this and then get it out of there because that pin is so far down inside the ram. But that's a properly terminated RCA-style uh, RG6 compression connector on a piece of RG6 cable.